Yeah, no, it was a it was a positive reaction, which is good because I'll probably be a bit worried if it was the reverse of that. So uh, sort of maybe vindicated that it was the right decision. But you know, I, I mean, the purpose of our, myself and our coaching group is to serve our players and to to uh, help them become the best people that they can be and the best footballers that they can be. And hopefully, at some point in time, get Brisbane Lions to win another Premiership Cup. So uh, I'm just really excited that. Um, you know, the club's seen fit to give me a few more years to, to maybe make that happen. So, uh, uh, yeah, it was re really exciting news and I can't wait for the next few years. Can you kind of sit back and just, just maybe have time to yourself at home or whatever? You're just going to go, I can't believe this is only year five. Like, do you think how far you've come? Like, going to your fifth season now? Yeah. Well, in some ways, the, the, four, the four or five years I've been here has gone really quickly um, because we've been so busy busy trying to improve but yeah every every now and then I guess I, I pinch myself and go gee um, from where we were four years ago um, it was a it was a struggling place to where we are now um, which is a pretty exciting footy club to be at it I'm fairly proud of that but you must must remember that um, you know that's not just me doing that that's that's a group of coaches a group of people in the football department the whole club um, everybody's embraced the philosophy of, of having a great a growth mindset and continuously trying to improve so um, you know it's a reflection of everybody uh, all the work that everybody's done so I'm really super proud of that. We hear that coming from you Chris growth mindset it's like a catchphrase around here almost how have you grown do you think in your four years? Um, well I think it's particularly important uh, when you're pretty close to 60 that you that you keep continuing to grow because you've got to stay are relevant to your players um, uh, so that they can you know have connection with you and, and understand you so uh, you know my, my um, professional development is always ongoing um, there's lots of different ways that I do it so I don't want to discuss all those now because it'll take too long but but uh, you can rest assured that it's 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 continuous and you know uh, the day that I stop doing that's probably the day to put the hand up and say I'm not motivated anymore but I've, I've never been more motivated in my life don't want to kind of remind you, but I think I read the other day you're the oldest coach currently in the NFL. Yeah. But I guess it just proves, do you feel like maybe that your coaching career is kind of like a bit of a fine wine? It's got better with age in that sense in terms of the coaching aspect? I don't know. I think you're better off probably to ask other people to, to answer that question. Um, but I, I, I do think age is irrelevant. Um, it's more about how you go about it and, and whether you are still trying to improve and get better. And, I think as long as you do that, then your age shouldn't come into it. Hey, so I remember last season you talked about when your journey does come around, as a coach, you hope that be a one club coach. Is that still your goal? Yeah, it's still the goal. Um, you know, and the, it, to be honest with you, the day that I feel like I'm not making a difference here, I'll put my hand up and say thought the time has come. I think, uh, you know, as I said, we're here to serve the players and 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 give them the best program that we can, and uh, uh, that's the aim. Um, and hopefully. I'll be able to do that for a while longer. Now that you're all kind of contracts out of the, um, kind of your mind in, in a certain short term, do you, do you turn your focus to maybe uh, putting the effort into signing Hugh McCluggage up for a few more years? Oh, I think the effort's being put into being put into signing up Hugh McCluggage. Uh, he's a very important player to us. He's only been here four years. He's obviously a very exciting talent, and above and beyond everything else, he's a great person. Uh, so uh, I'm sure that in time that'll get sorted. Chris, how have your um, recruits from the off-season fitted in? You've had them for a little while now, Joe and Akai. And, and yeah, well, if you ask, the, 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 the good people to ask are their teammates, I reckon. Uh, and I know that their teammates would say they've, they've fitted in like a glove. They've, uh, they've trained really well. Uh, they're enthusiastic uh, people. Uh, they bring energy to the place. Um, and uh, we, we're very excited by what we've seen to this point in time. Um, you know, Joe, Joe didn't go home after the footy season. I think he stayed up here and um, he managed to train with our group. That were we've got a group of 20 odd players that trained together in the in the off season, and he was a part of that group. And he didn't miss a session, and he hasn't missed a session since we started. So uh, fingers crossed that he's over his um, injury challenges and that we can see the great player that he is. You probably don't want it filtering into the southern media, but 
Oh, look, I hope so, because Harris Andrews is a fantastic player. Um, to be fair, the, the team that Joey played in was a little bit dominant over the other side, so life was a little bit easy for him. But, um, you know, nevertheless, he, he demonstrated his great capacity to play the game. He's a, he's a natural footballer, plays with instinct and intelligence, so uh, that all showed out the other night. Do you think that as young him and a player playing in just hypothetically that happens, it has, the credit has to go back to this strength and conditioning team that these two guys are guys that have played maybe 10 games between them in the last three or four years? Yeah, look, we, we shouldn't jump the gun because there's always challenges uh, with players and anything can go wrong at any time. But the track record of our medical staff and our conditioning staff over the, f the last four years has been outstanding. They were able to get a couple more years out of Hodgie. Uh, Link McCarthy, um, you know, played 27 games in seven seasons or something at Geelong. And it's, I think he's only missed one game in his two years here. And you know, there's other stories, Grant Birchall last year. So uh, they do a great job. I think it's got a little bit to do with the warm climate as well. I think that helps. Um, but uh, you know, fingers crossed that we can get the same result with those guys, but nothing's guaranteed. And, and it won't be a reflection on our medical and fitness staff. It's just sometimes that's the way the cookies crumble, but uh, they've been very good at their job. And you know, player availability is a big thing in success in AFL footy. And, our medical staff have done a great job with that over the last few years. How do you go about that Oh, there's lots of little bits and pieces that you need to fix up. It's probably not any one one little thing. Um, experience is one of the great teachers. Um, and uh, we've had two years of finals now where we've learned some great lessons. Uh, last year we were better in the finals of the whip than we were the year before, albeit the Geelong game was a little bit disappointing, but we showed we have great capacity to perform well on the big stage with the, the performance against Richmond and you know, the fact that they went on to be premiers. So uh, we'll take a lot from that, but there were some little learnings. We're not, we're not doing the macro stuff anymore that we were doing four years ago. It's all the little micro things that we need to work on at training. And part of it's just boy, uh, young players getting bigger, bigger, stronger bodies and being able to play against bigger, stronger opponents, which I feel like we've made progress with. Oh, there's a, it probably has grown a little bit um, in a nice sort of a way. I think people up here are very respectful and I'm always happy to have a chat and it's nowhere near as uh, overcoming as what it can be in Melbourne, um, which is a real footy mad state. But uh, I think our players and all of our staff probably find that the Brisbane Lions brand is a little bit more recognisable and people want to chat to us about it, but that's a good thing, I think. Like, how good is it to have Yui on board for another big round? Yeah, well, Yui are a, a fantastic company. Oh, they, they, um, they spend a fair bit of time trying to understand their individual customers, and uh, that's what we do as a coaching group. Um, so for them to be the sponsor of our coaching group, I think they, they reflect our philosophy. So uh, great to have them on board for a few more years. Yeah, look, I've, we, we've had a, you know, a really hard-working group of staff upstairs. They were a hard-working group when I arrived here, but it's, it's always really hard to sell a product that's not going so well. And so with the improvement of the team, um, you know, the guys upstairs in marketing and, and uh, sponsorship uh, have, have been able to use their skills and, and add something to sell that's a little bit more viable for sponsors. So uh, they've done a great job, and uh, hopefully we can continue to do ours and you know, our, our strength as a club continues to grow. Just on the one, it's been come back to one pre-season game now. Is that, I know you traditionally like to keep the kind of season with a lot of momentum and like run through the legs essentially, but how does that alter your prep this year, just knowing you were going to have two, but now it's only one? Yeah, we are allowed to have a practice game the week before, so we will play the Gold Coast, so we'll end up having, having two games. Oh, well, the thing is, it's the same for everyone. Um, what you hate as a coach is when if another team's getting a bit more of an advantage over you, you because they're playing more games, but that's just the way that it's set up. And 
then we get to control how many games we actually play between ourselves at training. So uh, uh, we'll have no excuses come round one. We should be in pretty good shape uh, match condition wise and be ready to go.